Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Asparagus. My name is Chef Mindy and here is my assistant, my daughter Maddie. And we are bringing you the last lesson of the year for Purple Asparagus. So today's lesson, hopefully if you're watching this in the summer, these are starting to come into season, is about berries. Can anybody think of some berries that they know about? What are some berries, Maddie? What are some types of berries? Um, strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Those are some very common types of berries. But you know what? There are some other types of berries that are not as common. Did you know tomatoes are part of the berry family? Did you know that? That seems weird. Grapes are actually part of the berry family. Um, bananas, which like blows my mind that bananas are part. And avocados are too. So crazy. Um, are we blowing it up together? Makes sense. Um, another kind of funny thing is if you think about a raspberry, this is kind of like how I think about grapes. So for a raspberry, each little bump is its own piece of fruit. It's considered its own piece of fruit. Well, Maddie's going to just sample that right now. So if you think about a bunch of grapes, like each little grape is like a little bump on a raspberry. So it's kind of funny to think about it like that. So we want to talk about berries because again, they're a great grow food. This is one that you all might be a little more familiar with. Hopefully you enjoyed the book, Blueberries for Sal. It's one of Maddie's favorite. She loves this story about blueberries. Um, but it's interesting that blueberries are actually native to the United States. That means that they've been grown here forever. So Native Americans use blueberries for all kinds of things um, way back in the day. So let's get to learning about berries. Let's talk about why they are so good for our bodies. Let's start with a nutrient we know. The first one is that one that helps our tummies feel full and keeps food moving through our system. It starts with a sound. At this point, we should all know this one, right? Fiber, remember that? Fiber. Yeah, so fiber is what helps your tummies feel full and berries have a ton of it. So that's one nutrient. Another one is one that we just had in herbs. We had it in vitamin C. We're not doing that one yet. Um, we had it in citrus. I think I just said it. This nutrient is called vitamin C. And this one helps us when we are sick. And again, berries have tons of it. And the last one we have is the one that is the super fighting nutrient. So this is the nutrient that you could picture it wearing a little cape and flying around inside your body and finding the bad stuff and grabbing it and kicking it out. And generally speaking, the brighter the colors in the foods you're eating, the more of this nutrient is in there. And berries are usually super duper bright, so they usually have a ton of these. And these are called antioxidants. Can you say that with me? Antioxidants. It's a long one. But these are your superhero nutrients. She's fading fast, folks, but we're going to keep powering through. All right, so let's talk about our tasting words for berries. The first one I want you to think about is the word tangy. So tangy, if you think about it, like some people say barbecue sauce is tangy. It's almost like sweet with a little bit of sour. Um, what else could be tangy? Hmm. I think berries can be tangy. So that's one to think about. The other one I want you to think about is seedy. So all berries have seeds, but I have a question for you. There is one berry whose seeds are on the outside. Do you know which berry has its seeds on the outside? A strawberry. A strawberry, she's right. If you look, there's all those little seeds on the outside. So that is the end of our berry lesson for today. Um, please join me back in a little bit and we will have a recipe using our berries. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon.